Wow, she's looking good today. Hola, hola. Bien. Well, hello, viewer. Thank you for joining the video, and uh, it's great to see you again. And I know you have questions. You're probably wondering, how in the world did I accidentally get myself two dates at the same time? Well, I have something to tell you. But first, let's rewind time and let me give you the rundown on how I met Paula. Nate, in your state. This all began with everybody's favorite budget airline. And the night before I was kind of tired from packing all night, I have this thing where I don't really sleep before I travel and while we was traveling and you know, the budget airline has small seats and I'm a large individual, it gets a little uncomfortable. And that on top of me being tired from packing the night before, I fell asleep on who is now known as Paula. And we falling asleep, you know, it was an accident. And she didn't want to wake me up, but you know, your boy was tired, was knocked out. I didn't know I was sleeping on her. And that led into a conversation and that led into us trading numbers and that led into this situation where we are now. Now let's get back to the show. What's going on y'all? This is Nate from Making Your State. And I guess you can say I'm going on a date. I'm hanging out with someone I met on the airplane. She's actually bringing her friend. It's very accustomed in Colombia. I think, uh, yeah, Colombia in general, like if you're hanging out with somebody for safety reasons, they'll bring a friend with them as well. So it's like you're dating two people or however it is. But I'm just, I personally am just hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Cause I want to learn more about the Colombians. I want to learn about the Colonials. And I wanted to go to an area that they also are going to. So I said, hey, yeah. Might as well said I was going in there and said you and your friend going there. I right, yo we can we can hook it up. So she based off the text she's calling it a date. I'm just calling it a hangout and be prepared to pay for both meals. I think that's another custom thing in the culture as well. So be prepared to be a gentleman. So yeah, let's go hang out, let's go have fun and I will see you guys at Ciudad Hardy. And if I'm gonna feed somebody else, best believe I'm gonna get content out of this. So yeah, there's the receipts. Are they even outside? Oh, this she is. Wow, she's looking good today. Hola, hola. Bien, he is dead. All right, all right. Okay, Come on. Go ahead, un carro. Un carro? Si? Okay, vamos. Si. Okay guys, we're on our way to the southwestern region of Cali, Colombia called Sudad Hardin. Sudad Hardin is a residential neighborhood known for its green spaces and well-planned urban layout. It is considered one of the most affluent and upscale neighborhoods in Cali, Colombia. In Colombia, the residential areas are often classified into social economic stratas. The Columbia Strata System is a classification system that determines the socio-economic level of urban households and buildings in Colombia. It's a way of organizing and managing housing developments where each stratum reflects the average monthly incomes of the residents in that area. Suidad Hardin is typically known to belong in the higher strata often stratum five or stratum six, with six being the highest strata. This indicates that it is a more upscale and affluent residential area. Okay. Vamos. Okay. Demar. I don't remember how we ended up in Martin Pescador Restaurante, but I do know that I love seafood and I'm not sure if it was a Google search that got me here or she recommended it to me. 
But man, this was a good vibe. Was, they were respectful. They treated us well. I felt very comfortable. So as we're waiting, I noticed that her friend had came in. I looked. Hmm. I turned away to process what I just saw because I was a little taken aback. I went to look again. And that was like, damn! Hola, hola. Bro, look at that smile. Look at that smile. She knew exactly what she was doing, man. Hola, hola. Mujeres primero, sí, sí. Guys, I'm no stranger to dating in Latin America. You have seen me post several videos of me on dates or whatever have you, or me hanging out. Even the video where I talked about the first time I was here in Cali, Colombia, and I had went on a date with somebody that was, you know, from the barrios, but she was a lawyer, and you know, this was somebody I was generally interested in. Even when I was hanging out with her, things were just pretty neutral. You know what I'm saying? It, it felt, it felt pretty laid back. It felt pretty cool. It's like you already know what to do. You know how to present yourself. You know how to carry yourself as a gentleman. I've dated adult women older than me. I dated adult women younger than me. It's familiar. It's a familiar sight. You can, you know, hang out, have fun, and you know, enjoy the night. But when Maria pulled up, it's kind of like I had a Windows blue screen of death on me. All of a sudden, I couldn't speak Spanish. I couldn't place my orders. I couldn't even articulate my position or where I was coming from. I couldn't even understand some of the things that they were saying. Like, basic stuff like the donde eres. Bro, that went through one ear to another, man. I, I just couldn't focus. When I first met Paula, I thought she was I. I thought she was, you know, pretty cute, especially when she pulled up and, you know, I seen her and um, her dress nice. I said, wow, she looking pretty good today. I didn't feel, I didn't feel this pressure about her. It just felt natural, common, cool. When Maria pulled up, man, it was the atmosphere, the atmosphere changed and everything felt a whole lot different. And I think that kind of threw me off guard, I would say. During the conversation, I later found out that she does do professional modeling for like magazines and stuff. So I said, ah, yeah, I get it. She's tall, she has a good look, she keeps her body in shape. And yeah, she had a very feminine demeanor about her, like really feminine. But I eventually bounced back, then the conversation was flowing smoothly and naturally. You know what I'm saying? I'm Nate the Great, I can handle this. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I gotta keep my head on the swivel. This is Colombia. I have to always be aware of my surroundings and be alert. But let me know in the comments how you guys would have handled this differently. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a video game nerd, all right? So, each one to each one. I have a whole website with a whole bunch of tips and tricks that you can use when you're traveling to Colombia or anywhere else in the world. Website is nateinyourstate.com. All right, go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Now, let's continue. They got passion fruit drinks, and I got a lemonade de coco. This is my, you know, I don't really understand the menu that well. But, um, yeah, they got the drinks. But I always love lemonade de coco. Plus, it's the simplest thing to remember. <laughs> when the main courses did come out, man, I would have to say the presentation looked amazing. Paula had coconut shrimp and it had tostones with it i got the garlic butter scampi shrimp and maria had herself seafood soup and it came with like a side of vegetables she also got a side of like tostones and we were sharing food you know maria let me try her coconut shrimp that thing was slamming man i kid you not but overall i was a pretty happy camper man can't can't go wrong with good food beautiful woman you know you see them taking pictures after everything was done Yo, I can't can't be mad, man. It was a good time. Oh yeah, see, see, see. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, so after we finished taking pictures, eating, and them gassing my head up, they wanted to know what else I wanted to do. I had to let them know. I said, you know, 
I'm a stranger here. You guys are residents. I'd like to see more of your city, your town, and your barrio. You know what I'm saying? So they said, all right, let's go to the Hardin Plaza Mall. And so I can get a good look at it. Because you know me, I, I, I like malls. And it's a good vibe. Hi, y'all. Yeah, we going to the Hardin Plaza Mall. We're about to check this out, see what it's about. Okay, welcome to Hardin Plaza Mall, which is considered Cali, Colombia's best mall and it's also the biggest mall here in this city this mall not only has lots of tiendas shops for you to shop at but this also has a lot of restaurants as well this place isn't only solely made for shopping as you can see there is a lot of outdoor areas for you to chill relax and like catch a vibe you know what i'm saying they have a lot of familiar stuff that i remember seeing like hmm the ladies wanted to go do some shopping in hmm and i'll say yeah all right, cool i'll follow along no i didn't buy them anything but after walking around they told me we should get some ice cream i'm like i'm good with ice cream let's go get some ice cream and they treated me to some ice cream and overall i really did enjoy the atmosphere here in this mall there's a lot of people there's a lot of things to see a lot of open space and it really does feel like an upscale mall area for you to go shopping i think that this mall deserves its own video and i'll do that in a upcoming video okay Sí, sí, sí. Lo veo. Los, los puestos de cholado. Ah. ¿Cholado? ¿Cholado? ¿No? ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué es? Sí. ¿Cholado, sí. lulada, buena banana? Ah, chulado, me gusta, chulado. Oh, wait, ah, sí, wait, sí, wait. wait. Sí, Espera. Este. Ensalada de fruta. Chulado. 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 Okay. So wrapping up this trip, they took me to the Engineer Park so we can get some chilalo. I always butcher the name, but it's pretty much a concoction of like papaya, wafers, apples, coconut, all on top of like ice cream or whatever have you. Kid you not, it's the most Colombian dessert that you can have throughout Colombia. And I think it's a really good dish. But I had a dope time with both Maria and Paula. What you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys already know what to do. Keep eating. Keep exploring. I'll hit you guys up in the next video. All right, peace. Nate in your state.